Good morning, Father. Mars is basking in the rays of the most beautiful sunrise. The MMC share value is at an all-time high, and your portfolio is up to two hundred septillion dollars and eight cents. Furthermore, yeah. the consortium has just signed three new Sirius Five mining contracts. The Great Chamberlain is waiting for you in the Alpha Zone to discuss the inauguration of the Commander's Museum. What is going on, geeks? UTC here, back in your life with some Californium. Thank you for following this series so far. Uh, I've been starting every episode with a sort of synopsis of what's happened so far. I'm not sure I could even attempt that now, so we're just going to dive in. If you haven't watched the other episodes, that's on you. Uh, the game has this neat mechanic. At the start of each chapter, it has you at your keyboard. I mean, it started with a typewriter and then a keyboard, I think, and now some sort of weird touch screen and we're writing. And I suppose every other time I've write, uh, read this to you, so I should. Commander Green's Journal. It is the Martian year 1045, and I am on the verge of completing my great book. The Earth is now just a field of ruins and hundreds of millions of kilometers away from it. Our silent red planet is the cradle of a post-human creation story, a story of which I am writing the first pages. I, Elvin Green, have created the new being, which is turned against... Oh, I can't wait to see. The human species yep this new being has reduced the human species a little repetitive elvin to slavery yeah this sounds familiar little dystopian post-apocalyptic future in order to achieve what its own destiny this is, why does it make me type all this? I don't have the words per minute to do this. Of the great everything. Jeez, Elvin, get to the frickin' point. Why am I making people watch this crap? They are nothing more than biological residue. Whose memory, oh, come on. If you miss one letter, it's all gone to hell. Will be, there you go, interrupted in space cold and indifferent get off my screen welcome to mother f and mars freaks welcome uh we live good morning father mars is basking in the rays of the most beautiful sunrise the MMC share value is at an all-time high, and your portfolio is up to two hundred septillion dollars and eight cents. Furthermore, yeah. the consortium has just signed three new Sirius Five mining contracts. The Great Chamberlain is waiting for you in the Alpha Zone to discuss the inauguration of the Commander's Museum. Okay, I can't wait to see what this game has in store for us. I hope it's as weird as it has been so far, and it seems like it will be as we're now on Mars, and this is still our apartment. This is basically our exact apartment that we were revealing last time. We'll be back to see you, I'm sure. And instead of overlooking a street in Los Angeles, we are overlooking a giant drill. Yep, I recognize you in the place of Abe Lincoln. A bunch of catwalks. And just this, this weird pavilion type setup. I don't know. I don't know what's awaiting us out there. Let's wander. Let's go see. Let's get into some trouble. This Mars... Mars actually, the Mars bathroom's not so bad. This, I don't know what that is. Alright, and we now live on a different level than the rest of the street. The Rolling Dice Diner. What? We're not going there yet. We gotta talk to this weird blue person. They're all aliens. Hello. Greetings, Master Green. Mr. Briskin is putting the final touches to the Commander's Museum. Uh -huh. Deadly Moon has just confirmed it will attend the inauguration and thanks you kindly. Ambassador Vogue apologizes, but yeah. he cannot be at the ceremony. No problem. He suggests attending via telepathy. This day will leave its mark on the solar system. Cheap. Glory be to the great book. Wow. 
Wow, this is like old school science fiction. Before it was all dark and straight, you know, zombies and violence. This Commander, is... we have just captured this bio age. A miner has never infiltrated the dome before. Hello. We must consider this intrusion as a major security breach. Elven Green, you're nothing but a demiurge trading with mechanical demons. So you say. Damn the man who betrays his human brothers and entrusts machines with his destiny. Your androids shall be powerless to stop us. Android? Android? It is time for the Great Revolt. These are merely psychotic projections, Master. The uh -huh. human spirit is so imperfect. We'll interrogate him. He'll tell us if he's alone. Yeah. Uh, uh this is a weird future. Very weird. Maybe that wasn't an alien. Maybe this is how all people dress. Hey, master, your attire is sublime. Maybe the I'm Brown dressed like that. Toga is simply Stunning! Uh -huh. You're looking younger by the day. What's your secret? Ah uh, ah uh, uh. No entry allowed. Not everything is ready yet for your museum's inauguration. Of course Please not. Please be patient. I promise it will be amazing. That voice was ridiculous. I'm not sure I can even take this game seriously after they let Father, a voice actor do excuse that. Excuse the interruption. You've received an ultra-level security flashcom. Asymmetrical decryption complete. Uh-huh. Okay, to Commander Green from MMC Console, the Great Commander. According to our security department, the consortium has just lost control of the Serenius Tholus mine site. The female Thea Trauberg and several bio-H's were spotted near the dome. The Great Council of the MMC is specifically asking you to speed up the process of replacing human workers with new generation synths before the rebellion takes over all Martian sites. I have already ordered Phalange phalange sigh to move into the dome to intercept the female Trauberg as well as her accomplices. He will terminate their cycle. I've heard that before. Well, maybe... Maybe... I'm in withdrawals. These bio-H's will do anything for their Martian god. It's as if they had been brainwashed. What does the great book prophesy, Commander? Is what? it our mission to exterminate them? Uh, the Miner's Pit. I guess, Elven Green Museum. Okay, let's keep looking around. This place is so weird. Can I go this way? Maybe I can go this way. No, I can't go this way. All right. I had a feeling that'd be the case. Look at that giganto drill inside this dome, too. I Ching Oracle. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. This game started in the 60s. It was trippy. The, there was Vietnam stuff going on. I guess that's not the spot we go. Uh, hippies, drugs. And then we went to this Office of Un-American Affairs type setup. Weird. Weird. This is where the synths are built. The androids. Uh, let's go to the Rolling Dice Diner. The WUP. I wonder what that stands for. Diner. Huh. Still open 24-7. Hey, where's Stavros? Commander, we've just scanned the area. Yeah? All factory sampling is conclusive. A bio-H female has recently been in this area. We flashed right. the Centurion. He's on his way to the consoles for a full report. Okay. Bio-H Stavros has admitted to having had contact with the female Trauberg. Yeah, this is He's familiar. He's a high security risk. Very familiar. We what? We request authorization to terminate his cycle. Yeah, let's just murder the dude. I don't think that's going to come into it. Hi, Stavros. Elvin, thanks God you're here. The Simuls know Theo was at Stavros' place. You knew she had escaped from Soronius Tolus? She gave message to Stavros. She's waiting for you at the museum. The Simuls say 
Thea wants to assassinate you, to cut off your head. Right. Crazy. She says she wants to free the humans. She thinks she's the messiah or what? I never seen wow. simuls all over the place like this before. I'm sorry. They know Taya's going to the museum. Stavros had no choice, Elvin. Yeah, he's soft. He don't want to lose his life for a crazy lady. Understandable. They still want to murder you. I hope you realize that. You still got a TV in this back room? Sounds like you do. I hear a TV crackling. Perhaps over here. Stavros, where are you keeping your TV? That's right. Well, I guess we'll have a look around. Uh, how many? What's the number? What's the magic number? What are we looking for here? Four. And this game has been a lot of this. I'm not sure about this mechanic uh, in terms of how fun it is to just go find symbols and click on them, but the effect that it has on the world is really something. Like, look at the future we're now un un unraveling. That's in midair. That's a, a dolly that was filled with stuff, and it's just... just Flumped over? Flumped? Flumped is not a word. You can't say that. You might even offend people. Where? Give me more symbols. Come on, tell me there's one back in these crappy old bathrooms. Okay, we'll look around. Whoa. Get clicked on. Get clicked on. Weird, 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 weird. It's stuff. Doors. Is it a bunch of doors falling down a staircase? Oh, I don't even understand. This world is way too weird. Way too weird. Uh, I Oh, this game, it keeps revealing weirder and weirder stuff. And these glitches, they lead you to what you're supposed to find. Lead me. Lead me. Maybe I have to back really far away. Why? Why would you be doing that if you weren't going to turn into an Omega symbol? Come on! Huh. Alright, I'm having trouble with this one. Guys, I, um, I'm staying up late to record a little Californium. Uh, finishing this game has been on my to-do list all week, and I've just spent the last few days working my butt off my real-life job so that I can have the free time to do my fake job, the one that I love, which is making videos for you guys. Um, and, yeah, it's super, it's super late. After midnight, and I, I already put in my eight hours of work today. And I'm just staying up. My house is a little chilly. I got my dogs keeping me company, which is great. Um, both my beasts sitting right next to me as I record. And I'm, I've kind of gotten into a, a level of comfort these days. I've now been YouTubing for a year. Uh, so I have some experience under my belt. And I've kind of gotten used to making videos and things like that. There's If there's more symbols, they're hard to find, by the way. Um... And it's nice when I, I finish my long stretch of work, because my schedule isn't isn't the same both you know every week, um, but every two weeks it is the same. So when I finish my long stretch of work, when I get this little bit of time, two left, eh? Um, well, I'm gonna have the next few days off, and I've just worked my butt off. I really like to push it and stay up way too late on this uh, this Sunday night, every second Sunday night. Um, Fr frick off this thing just keeps flashing on and off and it's not doing what it's supposed to do which is turn into an omega symbol i guess we'll leave stavros here and we'll come back we have to find two more symbols here and i only see that glitch everything on this floor looks pretty pretty sane i think i might have just seen a flash of light Yeah, didn't I? Am I insane? Is anything happening there? No, maybe nothing's happening. Oh, UTC's off his fricked up rocker. 
Okay, let's leave Stavros. We'll go do something different then. Come back here and I'll look for those later. Uh, I've kind of been recording too long and I don't know uh, where I'm at episodes wise. I think we're not, I think we're in the middle of an episode, something. Oh, good, more weird shit after talking to Stavros. Hello. Uh, Master, the miners have sabotaged the alpha drill. That? Everything is blocked. We will have to go three big kills deep to repair the rotator head. These humans have no respect for machines. Yeah, these machines have no respect for humans at the moment. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure how close we are to the end of an episode. This one might end up being I a weird length. I just reported length. to the Consul. We think the high doses of anxiolytics given to the miners have caused a breakout of mass psychosis. The bio uh -huh. ages are convinced that the drilling operations have awoken... A Martian the deity? drilling operations have awoken a Martian deity, U-2642, who is commanding them to rise up. We're up against a planet-wide revolt. It's time to take action, Commander. Right. What kind of a weird frickin' place is this? We keep jumping into the future. And up we go. Hello. Oh, it's dawn. We're back in... Is this publishing? How are you alive this many generations later? Greetings, Commander. You must have seen the Centurion. The contagion is spreading to every site. From Saronius Solus to the Solus Planum Plateau. Production is blocked, and the consortium cannot understand why you aren't reacting. We have to get rid of the bio H's, Elfin. Those huh. fanatics will blow up the dome in the end. They're just workers. They're not good <clears throat> for anything anymore. Right. We'll replace them with synth, and everything will get back to normal. According to the yeah. simules, you can't deal with the situation because you're getting soft. You know, I've always been there for you, right? Yeah, you've so never been there. Never been there for I'm me, the dude. Consul. I'll settle this my own way with the Legion. We'll deal with Theo once and for all. This dude's never been for, there for me. Cuts me from my job, asks me if I've been taking my haloperidol. He's a real douche. I gave orders to eliminate that wimp Stavros. Hey. Just think, buddy. We're going to be the last two humans in the whole universe. Wow. How is that a good thing? Relax. Take care of your museum. How is that a good thing? He's such a freak. He freaked me out from day one. See you, Don. This is a as dystopian a future as we've gotten to. I'd like to meet this child that keeps calling me father. Nope. I guess we're sticking around Don's place for a minute. Let's let's uncover a couple of these. Let's melt away a little bit of this strange reality, and then I'll call this an episode. Show me. Show me where you're at. Reveal yourself to me there. Yeah, yeah. You keep spinning around. Do it. You weird. God, this game just gave me a shiver. Whew. Can I walk on that? Oh, uh, yep. Where? Where is the light happening? There. Melt it away. Melt it all away. Who needs a place to stand on? My god. Uh, do we go back upstairs? Or do I go out here? No, back upstairs. If the music changes, it's a bad thing. Three left. Three left? I guess we hop back in the elevator. I mean, hold on to your... Your stuff. Alright, Don. Yeah, Don. Take that, pal. Look what I just did to your stupid place. I'm peeling back every damn layer of this reality. Weird. Weird. I've never taken drugs that would do this to you. <laughs> this is so strange. 
I mean, the whole idea is this must be some kind of weird drug trip, right? This can't be a real thing that's happening. Okay. This game's just freaking me out now. I uh, gave orders. Don't hang around too long. Relax. What? Take care. Yeah. Where? Where are the secrets? Here. One more? Is there one more? There might be one more. Whoa. Yeah, there's one more here somewhere. This desk. Gotta be. There. There, there, there. Ruling over Mars like a Roman emperor. Yep. Who could have imagined such a destiny, huh? But this world is not enough for you. You are preparing to manipulate the layers of space-time as if you were playing dice. Yep. Oh, you are a fascinating case of insatiable ambition, my friend. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Is this everything all right, Father? A severe disruption has just affected your electrosensorial field. Don't worry it's about it. It's a very it. strange phenomenon. An intrusion from an unknown source. Right. Um, guys, I think this is probably around the right time to call an end to this episode of Californium. I'm having a blast playing. I think I'm going to take a break. So in the next episode, you will be seeing me playing in a totally different session. Um... It's late enough here that I'm going to call it a, a night. Um, thank you for watching this very weird Let's Play series up till this point, and we'll be back with you with another episode in just a couple of days. TV. The TV. That's what's making all the noise. That's Omega? It looks like it's the end of the line for you, Mr. Green. Wow. Narrator it's comes into the game. Writer's block. A brain corroded by mind-bending drugs and dime store alcohol. Wow. The woman of your dreams and your little girl. No more than distant memories. 